Alright guys, welcome back for some more Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Uh, I apologize, last time we had a lot of cutscene, but uh, that's to be expected from a Metal Gear Solid game. So, uh, oh, one second, I gotta close my laptop, it's kind of in the way. Yeah, but that's kind of to be expected from a Metal Gear game. Uh, this one's gonna be a lot more gameplay, so uh, hope you guys enjoy that, and um, yeah, let's go. let's get going. Dremushij Swamp. Land. I almost forgot land. Oh, I forgot to change my camo. One second. Um, according to this, Italy's good here. That Okay, might as well. Uh, no, but last time I played through... Oh, it doesn't look like I got it. Oh, wait, never mind. That's just... Uh, that is just... This kind of... It's uniform. And it's Flectarn. There you go. Or DPM, but that looks kind of shitty. I'm not going to lie, it looks kind of shitty. Yeah, so this is probably going to be about... Uh, wow, that sounded funny. About? It's going to be about a 20-minute recording session. Uh, I want to go to sleep. Uh, I'm very tired. I might even yawn a couple of times. But, um, yeah, 20 minutes should be plenty enough. Cut it into maybe 7-minute parts. Kill some crocodiles in the meantime. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Wait, you didn't die yet? There you go. Uh, last recording session was kind of crappy because there was a lot of parts that were really quiet. Um, so I'm going to have to watch out for that now. And there's some stuff over there, but uh, I don't really need it. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, last recording session was kind of shitty because for some reason, uh, there's a cutscene coming up, so I'm just going to finish up here. But, uh, it kept, my recording device kept stopping, uh, kept, I cannot say this for the life of me. It kept stopping, recording. <laughs> okay, you know what, it kept stopping, there you go. And, uh, I couldn't, uh, I had to keep making transitions and it was really crappy. Especially to edit, that took, uh, took a while. To get it all synced up and whatnot. But, uh, might as well do that now. One, two, three, four, five. But, uh, yeah. And also, um, my, uh, my commentary was probably very boring, because I just woke up. I apologize for that as well. Uh, I'm gonna, I probably sound more lively now, thank God, but, uh, I wanted a strong start to this series, and, uh, so far it's, it wasn't too great, but this one should be better. So, uh, I'm done talking for a bit, let's go. Cutscene immediately. Dremushij North. I'm really hoping it doesn't cut out again. Um, uh, I gotta press R1. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. I'm watching carefully to see if it shots down. And grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. 
Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Woohoo! More gameplay. Alright, what do I want to do now? I want to get the Droganov. Because it's always helpful to have a sniper. The thing is, though, even though I'm not doing a complete guide, uh, if you want to, you can even pick up some tips. I mean, these aren't obvious. I mean, wait, they are obvious, sorry. Uh, they're obvious, but, you know, some people uh, don't see these kind of things, especially how this one is kind of tucked uh, around the corner. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm not going to show you every little nook and cranny in this game. Alright, let's do some MLG sniping maneuvers. No. There you go. And uh, I don't know if I want to get ammo off this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter because we're going to be... Uh, for those of you that know, we're not going to be holding on to our stuff too long. Uh, I don't really want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played the game. Oh, shit. Uh, although it is kind of old, you know, maybe someone still wants to get into these games and I don't want to spoil it for them. Whoops, can't let you see me now, can I? And that guy is far off in the distance. No, I'm not going to waste a shot on him. Dolino Vodno. I'm probably butchering this uh, Russian, but... Can't blame me, I'm not Russian. Also, I was going to say, uh, it's Canada Day today in... Uh... What was I going to say? In Canada? No shit. But it's Canada Day today. Um, if you hear any fireworks in the background, it's late at uh, it's late at night, so you you may hear them, although I doubt it. And uh, Snake's got a pedophile grin on his face. He sees some little kids that are to his liking. No, I'm just kidding, obviously, because uh, sounds sounds kind of creepy. But uh, anyways, where is it that? What the hell? Oh wait, is it? Is it bees or did I hit a fruit? Nope, that's a fruit. Oh well. Where's the bees nest? I completely missed it, didn't I? That's ah, right there. And look at that, a little keraton. I swear I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. And now I want to take these guys out, but I don't want to get caught, so if I do this... Shoot him dead center in the chest. It'll take a little while for him to get tranquilized. Oh, my nose My nose is stuffing up. What the hell? And then he's going to get knocked out. And then I proceed to shoot him. Shoot him in the head. And there you got it. This bridge always pissed me off when I first started playing this game. Alright, now the goal here is not to die. I may die, I don't know. I'm not positive, but if I hit X and triangle, whoa, that was close. Holy shit. And triangle again, and I got myself up. And I got the M16 along with Pentazemon. There's that cursed word that always got me in the previous games. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what do we got here? No one. I know there's someone else there, but is he right around the corner? Oh, and unfortunately, unlike uh, the previous two games, I can't uh, I can't run up right behind them. You have to sneak. You have to go uber slow mode, and it kind of sucks. But you know what? I I'm not one to complain. Actually, what am I saying? I complain all the time. Oops, sorry for that, guys. I think I opened my door because I wanted to get some fresh air, and the fan, or my fan, sorry, may have blown right into it. So I apologize for that uh, blowing into the mic. I'm just looking at how long we've been recording. It's about nine and a half minutes. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. Oops, I accidentally skipped it. Sorry, guys. I thought you could Your zoom in. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. 
Be careful. Your mission is to 